Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. So I thought it would be a fun video and I've been wanting to film this for a while. My Dollar Tree makeup collection, like a lot of the makeup that I've bought, not that though, a lot of the makeup I've bought from Dollar Tree and um, I don't know if I'm going to declutter anything. I might, I'm not really sure, but I really wanted to show you guys everything that I have makeup wise from Dollar Tree. So I have two drawers full. One draw is like fully dedicated. In this draw, this section is dedicated, and then I have a whole other product basket as well, which I put new stuff in when I'm filming Dollar Tree makeup tutorials. So let's get into it. Off with these new blushes, and I showed these in my last Dollar Tree makeup tutorial. These are so good. This one is too light for me, which I mentioned, but this one is gorgeous. It's the new Be Pure Essentially Ageless Luminizing Blush with Camellia Oil. It's also paraben and phthalate free. So good. I am like in love with the Essentially Ageless line. Go watch that video if you want to see how it looks on, but I love this color and it has like the not even like barely there a shimmer like it just looks like a lit from within kind of glow it's this little flower beauty color play cream creme whatever you want to call it eyeshadow this is so pretty and there was like a time that's what it looks like there was a time when there was like a ton of flower beauty at dollar tree i want to say it was like probably 2020 20 early 2021 and what a time to be alive you guys because that was so awesome. I also have these little hard candy. Oh wait, here's another one. Sorry. This is the color play in Time Willow Tell. This one's more like a gray. I definitely have not used that one. Um, but it has this cool little thing you can like smush the product down. So I have two of those. And then I also have these little guys from hard candy. I have a lot of hard candy stuff as well. This is the Fierce Effects Eyeshadow. I think there's another one somewhere in here. I have to find it. But these are really beautiful. It's like a really fun, like, what would you call it? Like ivory shimmer shade. Okay, and then I have this as well from Hard Candy, the Dome Highlighter. So this is really pretty. And it's like that jelly kind of texture it's very beautiful i love that product i also have this highlighter from wet n wild look how big this is i miss you guys i feel like there has been no good like more name brand makeup at dollar tree recently unfortunately i don't know why but i miss like the days of finding this really good stuff like this is a great powder this is in i don't know if it has a name just says mega glow loose highlighting powder and then, oh my gosh, this is a favorite. I have a lot of lip stuff in here. Okay, they do not have this anymore. It's called Beauty Benefits Hollywood, and it was made by the people who make Wet n Wild. And you can see mine broke, but I just, well, the side broke. I have to repress it into the pan. But these are so pretty and soft. Like, oh my gosh, you guys. It's also, like, not too intense. This is such a mess, but, like, I wish this was still there because it was such a good product. Um, I do have to fix this and repress that with alcohol, but I love this. Like they, I don't know why they got rid of that brand. Okay, I also have, this is uh, that same brand, Beauty Benefits, the Color Squad Eyeshadow. These were so good and I loved this shade. It's like a very pretty gold white color. This is Fun in the Sun. That was a cute little brand and I knew it was good quality because it was like wet and wild to meet it. Here is a Beauty Benefits Duo Highlighter. This is more like a peachy shade and this is like a pink. Okay, and then we have this. I think I have more of these in my top draw here. Yeah, I have a bunch of these. I just keep them in a different draw. The Beauty Benefits, again, they don't make these, but the Lasting Flush Blushes. This one's a highlighter, but I use it more as a blush. They are so nice. I hope you guys were able to, like, score these when they were still in stores. I'm telling you, after the pandemic, like, supply on things just got so weird. Like, I don't know what happened, but a lot of things weren't at the stores anymore 
This is really pretty. I don't know if I've used it yet, this one on camera yet, but it's a Glitterati Crystal Lip Duo. I have tried another shade that I got in PR from Hard Candy, but these like sparkle lip gloss glosses are a dupe for the hooded ones. So if you can find those, it's a great deal. This is Flower Beauty Petal to the Metal. This is a fun product. I just, I don't think I'm going to wear this shade though. So I think I want to declutter this nude, not nude, clear gloss from Wet n Wild. This is LA Colors Contour Stick in Dark. They did just reformulate these and I think I got a new one. I think I did. So I'm going to get rid of this one because I have a new one. I missed miss these finds. This is the Keep Going Wet n Wild Pump Waterproof Waterproof Liner. This is also really pretty. I will show you guys. It's like makeup you can wear to the gym, I guess, is what they were marketing it as. So that was a fun find. What did I? This, I don't think I got at Dollar Tree. This was a Milani find, Stellar Lights Holographic Lip Gloss. It actually looks crazy in here, but when you put it on, it does not come out like that color. It's more just like clear. Oh, this was a fun one. Wet n Wild Glassy Gloss Lip Gel in Glass Confusion. I don't know if I've used this. No, I have not used it, but this is like the old school Wet n Wild and I'm like all about that. This is so pretty. This is Beauty Essentials Ambergris Lip Gloss. It's so pretty. I've used this in past videos. Again, have not seen this in a long time, but it's a gorgeous color. I have these plump glosses from LA Colors. They don't really plump too much, but they're fun. They're pretty colors. And I also have, oh, this is nice. It's the Blooming Lip Oil from Hard Candy. What else do I have? This Jam and Berry Mood Tinting Lip Gloss from LA Colors. That's a fun one. And then I have this lipstick from Flower in... What is this color? Petal Kiss. This is a pretty color. I love these lipsticks. They are so pretty. I actually have another one here that I have as a backup that I got from Dollar Tree in Morning Glory. It's like a really pretty nude pink. And then this is the Hard Candy Plumping Serum Volumizing Lip Gloss. Another great find. Um, okay. So I have to actually clean this. Oh wait, there's more. I have this, which I love. The Wet n Wild Color Icon in Reserve Your Cabana. I use this under my eyes and as like a highlighter, it is so pretty. This I got at Dollar Tree. There was a time when they had like a ton of these. I'm, like I said, I miss those times. Okay, so I did attempt to reorganize this a little bit. It's no rhyme or reason. Like I just put lip stuff here. Um, I have more of these little blushes I'll show you guys in a second. I put these like single shadows and then the highlighters and these blushes over here. Okay, so now let's go to my next straw, which is down here. And this is basically an entire draw full of all Dollar Tree makeup finds. All Dollar Tree makeup finds. So where to begin? Um, okay, so I've had this for quite some time. I really like it. It's this Hard Candy Duo. I think Hard Candy like rebranded, so that's why a lot of their stuff was at Dollar Tree, but it's a baked blush and a baked bronzer. And they're really pretty. It's called Matte Made in Heaven. And then I have, I try and keep this somewhat organized, but it's really not. I have these Dollar Tree containers in here. Um, these Hard Candy Fox in a Box. These are like supposed to be benefit dupes. So we have this one, which is really pretty and it smells really good. This is Party Girl. And then this one is, this is a highlighter, Glamour Girl Bait Highlighter. They smell so good. Oh my gosh, I love these. And this is a really beautiful highlighter. So I really like those. This is a hard candy, um, very bulky packaging. This is like a brow set. It had like a brow little soap thing here and then two brow powders. The brow soap is like kind of dried up. And I think this is like a little brow highlighter, I guess. 
Um, so there's that. And then I have this brand, Broadway Colors. We have this contour cream and then this powder, which are really nice to use together. And then some like color correctors. Just putting, taking everything out and then I'll reorganize. I have two of the Flesh foundation sticks. You guys remember when these popped up at Dollar Tree? That was so fun. This is like a $20 product that was at Ulta and then somehow it ended up at Dollar Tree. So I have 04 and 08 custard and sugar. They did actually have like literally all the colors too. Like they had light to deeper color. So that was a fun find. Here's another good one, the Maybelline Superstay. This is in buff beige. It is a foundation stick. Okay, and then I have this flower. This is the Brow Master All-in-One Brow Mascara. So there's like a brush up here, and then I think the product is, where is the product? Oh, here it is. I was like, where is it? Brow Mascara. And then I have a bunch of like liquid shadows here um okay so I really like these the glitterati shadows um, are so pretty from hard candy so I have twinkle aurora and star and they're so pretty I love these like oh I'll show you guys I've worn many of these things you guys will probably be familiar seeing these in my tutorials if you've watched them but like look how pretty these are and then this white one i love for like the inner corner oh it has like a purpley kind of tint to it packaging is fun too i have this is so pretty it's a matte cream shadow liquid cat suit from wet n wild that's a fun one it's just like a nude Okay, and then I have these two liquid shadows from LA Colors, a pink and a purple. Those are fun, and then I have this I like. Oh, love these, the LA Colors um, blush sticks. These are so pretty. Oh my goodness, like a baby doll pink. I love the LA Colors blushes. They do such a good job on them. I have this a bunch of singles. Well, I have two singles from beauty benefits and you can see the organizers that I have here from Dollar Tree I have this is the essentially ageless foundation I think I had another one in here somewhere um, that is new from be pure really good again go watch the video if you want to see what it looks like on the coverage is really nice I have this snap scara from um, Maybelline which is like a wash off mascara i've used this so many times the la colors priming mascara and this hard candy bold color mascara it's really just like a black it's very hard to find mascaras at dollar tree so anytime i see a good one i'm like ooh. um the mega wear is really good too they always have that one this is a big lash mascara i think is this like blue yeah this is blue which is so fun love blue mascara i love these oh my gosh these are so good the eye primers well specifically the matte one is really good the shimmer one's like meh, but the matte one's amazing you guys like it's just as good as the high-end ones i have the glow stick highlighter from la colors which is so good and then another one of the blush sticks these are a fave they have random Galaxy Lip Gloss from Flower Beauty. I have this lip gel from Beauty Benefits. It's like kind of like an orangey color. Flower Beauty uh, Set Me Freesia. Pretty color. This is a nice gloss. The lip gloss from Remy Rose really pretty is another rummy rose lip gloss i really like this one this is a rummy rose lipstick in sarah la colors intense color lip gloss this is in dancer this is a beauty benefits lipstick 
nice pink color. Uh, the color jolt, ooh, the color jolts, you guys remember finding these from Maybelline. And then here is a Maybelline Dream Lumi in like a deeper shade. I actually use this to contour. That was a fun find. Love these LA Colors eyeshadow quads. They're so good. And I did just pick up their new shadows, which I will try in a video. This is, ooh, yes, I forgot about this. The e.l.f. Jelly Highlighter. I can't remember if I used this in a video. I probably did. But it's literally this like jelly consistency. And it's really pretty, actually. Super pretty. Just don't spill it. But wow, that's gorgeous. I forgot about that. I also have um, this. This is not Dollar Tree. It's AOA. <laughs> I was just chilling in there. Um, these are re also really good. I love them. The cream blushes. I have Tainted Love, Mesmerizing, and then I had another one in here. I think I had one in here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Tainted Love. Is that it? Yeah. There is the cream blushes. Then I have some blushes in here. This is, I love this one, Flower Beauty Blush in Winsome Rouge Some Pure Petunia. Super pretty. I loved the Flower Beauty stuff. Oh, I love this one too. It's Living Doll. Oh my gosh, it's such a pretty color. Oh, it's so pretty and it's like also highlighting. Another favorite hard candy glow all the way. This is a highlighter, baked blush, and baked bronzer. And I totally forgot about this hard candy translucent finishing powder. So good. And then I have over here some of the primers. This is LA Colors Evening Face Primer. This one is the color correcting in clear. This is one of the older LA Colors blushes. I actually have the new ones. This is Peach Rose. I have to try out the new ones. Some more of that brand Beauty Benefits that I love. This is the Glow with the Flow bronzer. It's like very sparkly though. I don't think I'm gonna keep that one. This is the Lasting Flush Blush. This is more like, this is definitely more like a highlighter. It's really pretty though. This is in Delicate Flower. Oh my gosh, it's like, didn't realize that. But it's like this very bright pink powder. It's a really cool product. And I have another hard candy single. Did I, did I have two of these? I feel like I had another one. Yeah. So these two, I didn't realize this is in Infatuation and this is in Flirty. This is more like pink, this one's more gold. And then I have this. Oh, I forgot about this. It's the powder foundation but I think I was actually using this as a bronzer maybe yeah but that was another cool find like oh, please give us more good stuff like this especially with the price increase so that section and then I also have over here in this corner concealer corner so I have flower concealer I have a wet n wild this is highlighting concealing in illuminati it's like really old this was when we found these real techniques face sponges this was like its own find it actually works pretty well this is Milani Retouch and Erase, another super fun find from like 2021. LA Colors Matte Liquid Foundation in Nude. I don't remember if I like this, but I'm not gonna keep that. This was when we found the Wet n Wild Cushion Foundations. I think I have two of these. This one's like, this is in Buff Beige. There was a time when they had like so many of these. And I like it. And then I also had a deeper version of this Milani concealer. This one is bronze, which I would use for contouring. Okay, you guys, so that is that. And then the only other thing I have I will show you guys is a separate basket. 
and I will show you that next. So I wanted to show you guys quickly before I show you the next part that I did reorganize this draw fairly nicely. I put the cream shadows. This is like some of the eye primers, face primers. Um, I feel like though these organizers, like I feel like I can't really hold that much. I mean, it looks pretty good though. Concealers back here, foundations. Here are my LA Colors blushes in here. And then I have the mascaras over here. I put stuff that I need to try for my next videos. So I have two of these um, blushes from, what is this, Ioni. And I really like these. I have only three left in here of these individual lashes. The, I love these though, they're so nice. Wispy medium, these are beautiful. I have this face highlighter I have to try also from Ioni. Seems like they phased out the beauty benefits for the Ioni makeup is what it seems to me. This is a really pretty hard candy, like red, uh, red lip, I think it's like a, what is it called? Liquid lipstick, but when you press it, it makes glitter. I have tried other colors of that before. This is uh, the new LA Colors Shadow Stick. I also have a new LA Colors eyeshadow to try. So stay tuned for that. And then I have, what else in here? I'll try and keep this organized. This is Hard Candy's like little, well, it's a really actually nice palette that I got. Such a good find, oh my goodness. Um, this is a Maybelline lip palette, another great find. You can like make your own shades, which I love. I think that's so cool. I definitely like, that was when I paid a dollar for stuff that was crazy good. Here's a really nice brow palette from Flower. Um, I really can only use like these two. I can't use those two, but it's the complete brow kit in Take a Brow. And then I have oh, the Believe Beauty stuff. So good. This is Believe Beauty highlighter in pink pearls. Stunning. Have you guys seen that? This is from Five Below. This should not be in here. This is another Believe Beauty. This is the bronzer in Tahitian Sun. It's like kind of shimmery. That's fun. There's this guy, the Creme Shot Match Me Foundation. I have this 12 hour primer. Ooh, it's looks like it's like leaking. Ugh, I have to clean that. liquid lipstick from Ioni. Here is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in, what is that color? Buenos Aires. I have another one of the Hard Candy Glow All The Ways. This is in Honeymoon, which is like, like more like a peachy highlighter. Milani, I forgot about this, Radiant Make It Last Setting Powder. This is more like a highlighter. I have this Wet n Wild Color Icon eyeshadow. Two of these CoverGirl liquid shadows. Those are really nice too, like jazz up the look. This, I have another one too of this uh, somewhere in here. I thought I saw it before. This matte lip from LA Colors. This is in Keeper. This is another one of those like press and play lip glitter thingies from Hard Candy. Um, I love this primer. It's the Sheer Envy Blur Primer. It's so pretty. Um, I just have my Pears soap, which is like full of cat fur. <laughs> for brows. I have this Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation. It's like a very light shade. I have to mix it with something else. I have this Perfecting Prime. I have two setting sprays here from Hard Candy. This is the Long Wear and the 12 Hour Primer Mist. So many good finds. This is the Master Camo Concealer Palette from Maybelline. Also really nice, great stuff. 
another <laughs> primer from Hard Candy. I snatched all those up. This is the Lash Glue Liner Pen, which I love the concept of this from Ioni, but it's not that great. Like it's not that pigmented, but I was still excited to see one of these at Dollar Tree. They at least tried to clean this basket out. Vivid Matte uh, Liquid from Maybelline. This is the hydrating primer, like from Ioni, little guy. More lip stuff. This is the, oh, I have to clean this, it's gross. Something spilled in here. Tinted lip balm from Ioni. This is infallible matte paint gloss. And I don't know if I said this is from L'Oreal. Ioni. I have another lip gloss from the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Collection. Lip liner. I know, it's like, can you believe all this is from Dollar Tree, right? I have this really pretty cashmere silk lip gloss. This is a wet n wild like eye shimmer, liquid shimmer. Love this. I have two of these. The Pore Perfect foundation and it has a primer on the other side and then the foundation on this side and the primer is so good, you guys. It's so good. Hard Candy Syrup Kiss Lip Stain. And it's just a good little extra space to have. And I know that this is the stuff that I have to try out in my next video. I mean, I did already try out a lot of this stuff, but it's just like kind of a holding place because I don't have that much room, especially in this draw. I definitely could not fit all this in this draw that I have. So this was, I think, a really long video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've been wanting to film this for months now. So let me know what you guys thought of my Dollar Tree huge makeup collection. Lots of Dollar Tree brands, but also some really fun name brand stuff in there as well. So I only decluttered a couple things. I really like a lot of the stuff that I have, and I do use a lot of this stuff, so I didn't want to get rid of it if I'm using it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this. Let me know what was your favorite item and also let me know what is your favorite Dollar Tree makeup find. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.